racing to the rescue of victims of attack in a flash. He'll foil the foe with a quick silver and Loyal friend of the sea to the end is a marine boy. Do, 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 do. Beneath the seven seas live all kinds of mysterious and beautiful creatures, most of them already known to man. But the ocean is so deep in places that it has never been fully explored. And we do not know what lives at the bottom of the deepest of the deep. This is where that earthquake took place. We better not stay here long. Bolton, look, what's that? <gasps> A giant squid. much longer. We've got to do something. We'll try to break away. Ignite the rocket engines. Here it goes. The ship's starting to crack. We'll never make it. We still have a chance, Piper. So pull yourself together and hang on! Oh! I, I'm getting too dizzy! I've got an idea! Instead of fighting against the current, let's go with it! This may give us enough speed to break out of the whirlpool. That's the idea, Bolton. First, I'll turn the ship. Now, give her all the power we've got. Right. Use the reserve power. Head for the edge of the whirlpool. to go over the edge. Here goes. We're back, Father. This is the final moment of this experiment. Watch. You make them grow bigger. 
That's amazing, Father. If I can grow bigger fish, there'll be more food for the people of the world to eat. Well, you just did it, sir. Your experiment's a success. No. No, I'm afraid it's not, son. At least, at least not yet. The fish have grown only about three times their normal size. Whereas I plan to grow them at least ten times normal size. Well, you must be on the right track, Father. I am. But there's one ingredient missing. However, I haven't been able to figure out what it is yet. Perhaps if I feed all my information into this electronic computer, it'll tell me what other ingredient I need. There's my answer. I need parasteel for the formula. Parasteel? Yes, son. It's a very rare radioactive metal found only in the deepest parts of the ocean. Is this the exact spot where you were caught in the whirlpool? Yes, sir. A gigantic squid dragged our ship into it. A gigantic squid? Yes, sir. It was the biggest squid I've ever seen, Dr. Mariner. I was scared stiff, as usual. Hmm. A giant squid might indicate that there's some parasteel in the area. Gentlemen, we'll form an expedition to search that part of the ocean for parasteel. But that's the deepest part of the ocean. How would we get down there? Well, I have the answer to that problem, Marine boy. I've built a special deep water ship called a bathyscaf. An exploration ship brings the bathyscaf to the dangerous area. Well, good luck, Dr. Mariner. <laughs> I won't need much luck as long as this bathyscaf of yours works, Professor Fumble. Oh, well, uh, uh, just in case, I, um, I'll still wish you good luck. All right, men. I'm going down. Be sure to lock the top of this as tightly as you can. I'm ready. Start the operation. Careful not to bump it. There it goes. down further than any man has gone before. Be careful of that whirlpool. Everything's running smoothly down here, Marine Boy. You can lower me even deeper. I've reached the bottom. And the whirlpool isn't very strong down here. That's good news, sir. Now start moving slowly toward the whirlpool. Right. Father, what's happened? 
father. Can you hear me? Are you all right? Yes, Marine boy. I seem to be dropping down through a crevice in the ocean floor. Be careful, sir. I will. What could that be? Hmm. Uh, hold me up! Quick! Yes, sir. He's in trouble! Bring him up! All right! Father! What's going on down there? A gigantic squid is after me. Pull me up faster! Hurry! It's getting closer! Hurry! If you don't pull me faster, I'll be caught! Pull it the other way! Oh, no! to investigate. At first I'll take some oxygum so I won't have to breathe down there. More ox come to go down there. Let's go, Splasher. against it. Thank you. 
The squid must have a weak point somewhere. That was a close one. Come on, Splasher. Look! I wonder what's inside that cave. Let's find out. Go ahead, Splasher. Keep on searching for my father. <laughs> to find my father before it's too late. Calling Marine Boy. This is Bolton calling Marine Boy. This is Marine Boy. Come in, Bolton. Give us a report. Have you found Dr. Mariner? Not yet. I can't even find a trace of him. He's got to be down there somewhere. Keep searching. I will. Marine boy, I need your help. I won't be able to hold out much longer. I've got to do something. If only I can get there in time. Attacked again. Marine boy. Marine boy. He hardly even felt the boomerang. can destroy the bathyscap. 
I'd better lure it away. Oh, Marine boy. Be careful. Be careful, my son. It's falling for the trick. Good. Try something else. That takes care of that monster. It's okay. I took care of it. The monster lobster won't cause any more trouble, Father. Next, we've got to get you out of this place. I'm proud of you, Marine boy. You've done a great job. Now, let's head for the surface. rise mechanism will take me up faster. Well, Dr. Mariner, I heard that you got all the parasteel you need for your experiment just by scraping the mud off the bottom of a bathyscaph. Hey, Doctor. I thought you were trying to grow the fish bigger. I uh, changed my mind, Piper. When I was down on the bottom of the ocean, I saw that parasteel makes them grow not only bigger, but wilder. So this means you're giving up the experiment, sir? I certainly am. Nature has created things to grow naturally to the size they should be. I'm not going to change nature. Look how happy those fish are, living just the way nature intended them to. Be sure to see the next thrilling episode of Marine Boy. Yeah.